today. Um, I'd just like to ask everybody out there to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your family and friends um, if you like what you're seeing on the channel. Um, that'll help us out immensely, especially being um, a new channel. I'm still uh, learning a lot, and uh, it's a steep learning curve <laughs> for someone my age. Anyway, um, let's get started with the updated tour. Here. I have finally got the house clean enough to show to you and um, so I'm just going to do another tour of the tiny house now that it's actually being lived in. The first one I was showing you uh, basically what it looked like uh, as soon as we had finished it we had it staged but it wasn't hooked up to any plumbing or um, didn't have the toilet in it yet. Uh, Chris hadn't didn't choose that until he got here to Alberta. Um, and a few things, a few different things have changed. Um, we did put in the propane instant hot water heater and propane range, so um, that's what uh, he's ended up using. He ended up uh, choosing a propane heater as well, um, so that you've always got heat on if you need to go away, rather than just rely on the little wood stove. And he wired it for baseboard heaters, but they draw too much power if you're on solar. So he didn't do that. So anyway, um, let's just go inside. Um, we've got uh, two of these, I think they call them fat boys, um, hooked up to the propane. You can see in there, he's got uh, the water going from the pressure tank um, in the 20 footer. The solar system is in there. That's probably a separate video. Um, I've said before, I've joked that that's all the technical stuff I'm not really interested in. Um, on this side we've sort of got a little patio area in the greenhouse, the barbecue, fire pit. And um, so let's go inside. You've seen this before, the nice uh, entry door. Um, Chris might actually end up changing that out. He's not that crazy about the side lights in it. Um, so, I just had a brainwave. I might end up putting it in my tiny house. Then I won't have to buy an entry door if um, if he decides to get rid of it. This was a really expensive door. It was almost two grand and we got it for $500. That's why we used it here. Ordinarily, I wouldn't have put such an expensive door in the tiny house. So, um, in the first video, you saw this nice mirror. And of course, <laughs> it's kind of hidden. Uh, because, you know, you need some place to put your jacket when you come in, and that's what we do. I mean, this is basically um, to show you what it's like to actually live in here now. I'll just turn the light on. When we were building it, all my friends that were following along with the pictures uh, kept saying, Oh, you don't have enough windows. You need more windows. Um, there's the kitchen window here facing south. And there's a window down at the other end in the bedroom. And of course the light coming from this door. Um, that's one of my biggest pet peeves about tiny houses is windows everywhere and where do you put your art? Where do you put your TV? Where do you put your wall cabinets? It's To me it's crazy. Um, and of course, again, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments, but um, anyway, that's just the way I feel and that's my choice. This is the way I designed it. So, um, I showed you before, um, we've got this cabinet here, sort of as a catch-all. You know, it's got uh, all kinds of stuff, garbage bags, uh, things in it. There's um, a garbage can that we're actually using for recyclables. Um, I absolutely love having this counter space. I can't say enough about counter space. Um, you know, we make our toast in the morning, or I, I actually roll out pastry on this big cutting board that I found. Uh, I don't like bulky things like this on the counter, but we ran out of saran wrap. I had already bought this. It lasts for years, so keeping it. So that, um, these things are awesome for plugging in cell phones and everything to charge them. Uh, I have done um, a couple of you know, I've had pictures of the uh, the wood stove. I absolutely love this wood stove. We stick any paper stuff in there and then we just burn it whenever. Got our firewood here, so it's handy. Um, the toaster oven, 
Uh, we don't use it very often. I love my toaster oven, but it draws a lot of power. Um, so anyway, this is the shallow, what I call the shallow side of the kitchen. I used um, the 15 inch deep cabinets on this side. And then on this side, I have all the 24 inch deep stuff. So this, the cabinets go right to the ceiling. Um, I paid a lot more for the little range hood. It's a good one. Um, rather than, you know, the $60 thing that they had in the store. Again, this is a an off-grid propane range. I absolutely love it. Um, I ha it, ba it bakes scones, and that's how my test for any oven. It bakes scones as well as um, my commercial oven that I had in my bake shop. Another pet peeve I have is tiny houses with no wall cabinets. Um, just what makes me lose my mind. Uh, there's a light for the sink here, which comes in really handy. And of course there's a light. I always get these wrong. A light, two lights above the stove. So, um, I'm one of those people that I like drawers everywhere. And the one thing I will talk about is I put a single bowl, uh, 24 inch cabinet for the sink and a 24 inch range. When you give up six inches from a standard size range and six inches or more for a standard size sink, you basically gain a bank of drawers. I need, I mean, I think everybody needs a place to put their stuff rather than uh, full size appliances for such a small place. Um, so again, uh, upper cabinets, lots of upper cabinets, because of course you need place to put your dishes and everything, but also your food. Every single home I've ever bought or lived in or for my kids, I have done these dividers um, so that you can get a lot more stuff up above the fridge and has to be a 24 inch deep cabinet above the fridge. Another thing that makes me just about lose my mind, either no cabinet above the fridge or um, the shallow one. So it's back there, you can't reach it. Uh, now this is a 24 inch uh, fridge. So it leaves a little bit of space here for a couple little tables or a stool or whatever. Um, again, these appliances are made for small spaces. I have one of the stools out in the storage area. Look at somebody wants to go outside. She's not very happy with me. But Chris is doing some stuff that he doesn't want her getting into. So um, anyway, love the range. I never use the second bowl in my sink anyway. So um, it works out great for us. I always keep some firewood here. Chris did change the vent. I don't know if I have any pictures of that. But um, like I said, I can go into more detail if uh, people want. You'll remember there were open shelves here and open shelves up there. And of course, we're all about the storage. Um, got rid of the big clock on the wall, put the little one up here because uh, Chris wanted to hang some art that was really special to his family. We always keep uh, things like this handy for if the power goes out. Um, these are awesome. Metal chain. They have the hooks with them. Pop a candle in it and you're good to go. You got power um, or light really quickly. We keep flashlights by the door. So, I mean, out here in the country, when the power goes out, it is dark. So we like it so that we can get, uh, find what we need without having to really scramble. We have a, one of these oil lamps on each side of this TV. And that way, again, you've got something you can light. Um, Chris has got some of his art on the wall, which makes it feel a lot more like home. And um, just got this picture framed finally. So it's kind of nice to have the space to put all the things that are really special. You know, that picture I think was in his grandma's home. Um, still a little bit of space to add some stuff here. And again, added more cabinets. Um, I was a kitchen designer and loved doing that. So it's really important to me, especially because I like to cook and bake. So I will probably do a video just basically on the kitchen design because it's so important to me. 
Um, Chris ended up putting in this composting toilet. The little raised floor here is, um, he, he plumbed the bathroom in for a normal toilet. And we didn't want to undo that because if, you know, if he ever chose to sell this place or somebody wanted to hook up to a grid or a septic system, they have that option. Why would you undo that? So he ended up opting for this uh, composting toilet and that's probably a video all in itself. Uh, again, propane hot water heater, and um, this was this is the propane heater that he chose to heat the place. I have a smaller version in my um, bedroom. So, again, same tiles, uh, and again, drawers, drawers, you know, tons of storage, absolutely tons of storage, um, and I even have wool uh, cabinet cabinets on the wall in here. I, I, I mean, <laughs> the people that have like just one little cabinet under the sink, I don't even know how you could survive. Um, I, these cabinets are jam-packed full of stuff. I use the bottom drawer, the deep drawer, and that's why I use three different sizes. Um, the bottom one holds uh, the towels and, and linen, uh, some linen for if you're in the bathroom. Again, this was a cast iron uh, shower base. So we already had the matting, so we actually put in-floor heating in the bathroom and ran it underneath the cast iron and in front of the toilet too. So you can actually um, turn the in-floor heating on and the thermostat for that is right here. So you can see how much counter space there is in this bathroom, which again is really, really important to me. I don't know how people can have like a little 24 inch cabinet, put all their stuff in it and I mean, look at his side, my side, it's crazy. You have so much stuff and there's a lot of stuff jammed in those cabinets that you can't see too. Again, uh, four foot shower, 36 inches deep, awesome shower base. Opted to go for the quick uh, finish of this with the acrylic um, rather than the work of doing the tiles and um, lots of storage there again. Now, uh, he still has the um, twin bed. There are two, mat two twin mattresses on there and this actually pulls out this day bed to a king size bed. Um, again, things have changed a little bit. He's living in it. Uh, he actually wants to take this day bed out and put a queen size bed in here. So we've measured it all out and he can still get this little table in here. We turned the wardrobe so it's facing this way. Get back a little bit so you can see. It was facing the window. Now it's facing the other wall here. So um, again, lots of storage. Uh, he's got uh, a clothes rod and then four, two of those bins there and then four more in there and they store a lot of stuff plus uh, three huge drawer drawers under here. So a lot of storage. Um, this is just an old table I repainted but there's going to be room for it to go over by the wardrobe and then uh, the king or sorry a queen size bed in here and that's what he wants to do there. So we did end up repainting the whole tiny house and so it's now the walls are uh, a little a light gray color um, I think we did a little bit lighter in the living room and we painted the ceilings all with uh, ceiling paint so it's flat and then all of the trim in the windowsills we did in high gloss so they're easy to wipe. You know if it rains a little bit or it gets dirty in the windowsill it's easy to just wipe it. So again he's been able to put some stuff on the walls that's uh, really special to him. That clock was a wedding gift that we bought um, with the money from his grandma. And this little rack here, it's actually a towel rack, um, you know, like they put in hotels, but it has these hooks and he loves to just be able to hang up his pants and that sort of thing. And then you've got space on top if you need it. Um, he keeps his vacuum under this little table too. It's a way bigger vacuum than I would have bought, but it's a mealy and it was such an amazing deal that, you know, it was a no brainer. So again, the barn doors, uh, love them. Now I am going to end up putting um, a normal door in my, I think my bedroom and my bathroom. I, th 
think they're actually cheaper even. So I'm going to do that. Um, privacy is a little bit of an issue because somebody likes to come along to the bed here and open the door while you're sitting on the toilet. She doesn't feel you have any right to privacy whatsoever. And because the door rolls so easily, you'll be in here. You could be naked, you could be on the toilet, and she will just push the door open. So we're either going to get something to put on here to latch onto the wall, or, um, well, we have to do something. It's ridiculous. I mean, you know, if you've got company and <laughs> they want to use the bathroom, the dog opens the door. These, uh, I got this one framed for Chris. Uh, his dad actually worked on the Avro Arrow. And this was his dad's as well and has his cards. Um, so yeah, he's been had time to now uh, put up some artwork that's really special to him. And I'm looking forward to be able, being able to get some of my stuff on the walls too. Again, I think this is a ridiculous size TV, but he's happy. All the guys will love it. So, and then, like I said, we had the, these cabinets. Um, you know, it was a problem like putting the printer somewhere. He likes to put his laptop up there. Um, and then, of course, these cabinets are full to the brim already. So I may end up doing a video uh, just about the appliances and maybe even um, one about the kitchen design. Uh, I'm more than happy to uh, share the design, the sizes, everything with people if they want it. Um, I'm actually doing the exact same design in mine except on this side I'm put on the shallow side I'm putting three 30 inch sets of drawers which is what's in the bathroom the shallow drawers and then I'm putting a 72 inch window so it's going to be you know a way bigger window a uh, six foot window over top of like um, eight foot of cabinets so a lot of window space a lot of light coming into the kitchen and then on the on the sink and stove side, the 24 inch deep side, these drawers in mine are actually going to be 24 inches instead of 15s. So when you think about it, I'll have an extra nine inches on this side, another nine inches here, and then another nine inches um, of drawer space, like as far as width, and then of course I'm getting more um, counter space that way as well. Which again, when you're baking, you know, if you're rolling out pastries or you're making biscuits or anything like that, the counter space is so important. So I'm really looking forward to having the extra counter space and the extra drawer space because I do so much cooking and baking. Um, and I might end up doing that for the farmer's market in town. So the extra space is going to be really crucial for me. And um, I am, I'm actually going to order it pretty quick here because summer's coming and we keep overflow stuff in a cooler. Um, I think I'm going to order my fridge, but I'm going to get the all fridge. Still going to have the 24 inch footprint, but um, it's all fridge. Uh, things like, you know, you make a cream pie like I did a few days ago. Uh, and you have to keep it in the fridge for four hours. Well, you can't do that with a tiny fridge like this. So anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I will have uh, quite a bit more storage space in the kitchen. Uh, again, these are 15s and I will have 24 inch cabinets uh, there, there, and there. Plus I'm a little bit of a lunatic freak when it comes to symmetry. Um, so it will actually be a 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. <laughs> it makes me very happy. They don't make a 24 inch cabinet to go above the fridge. Um, so I'll just leave it with a 30. And then when you have the gable on the end, you have a little bit of space for either tables like that or um, a kitchen stool. I usually keep a kitchen stool handy there because when you have the taller cabinets, um, it's nice to have that handy if you can't reach the top shelves. 
Um, so that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, updated tour. And uh, if you like what we're doing, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please share this video with your family and friends. That'll help us out a lot. And um, so that, I think I will probably, a friend of mine asked me about a video on the little wood stove, if I could make coffee on it. So I think I'm gonna do um, that video. Um, I did one, but I'm not too sure about it. So I'll have to review it and um, see if I'm happy with it. But yeah, I used the coffee percolator on the little wood stove and uh, I mean, there's no problem, but a friend asked me about it, so I thought that'd be cute that you don't make. And uh, again, if you want more information, I thought I might do a video just on the nuts and bolts, like the brand of oven, uh, the brand of um, hot water heater, the propane heater, the fridge, because um, there are they do vary a lot in price. You know, you can buy some really really high end small uh, appliances, a small footprint, um, like Fisher and Paykel or Bosch. Um, but um, I'm I prefer the LG. I really like them. I think they're good uh, value for the money. So. Anyway, I might end up doing a video just on that and, um, and, and you know, the, the type of composting toilet that Chris ended up choosing. I don't have all that information, information written down. And I think a lot of the men um, tend to want that technical information. So I may write all that down, like what are the BTUs of the heater and all that kind of stuff, the propane, the power usage, um, that sort of thing. But uh, so far, everything uh, we've put in the tiny house and everything Chris has chosen since he set it up, like the, the solar system uh, and the toilet he chose, he's pretty happy with it. Myself, I think I'm going to hold out, maybe hold my breath, till I get a uh, prince, I think it's called a princess um, incinerator toilet. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, I think it's $5,300 Canadian, which is absolutely absurd. But I'm one of those people I may end up using uh, a five gallon pail and sawdust until I can get what I want. Um, yeah, so there's the whole composting toilet issue and whether or not you're ready for that. Um, I'm not sure after using it. I don't clean it out, so um, Chris does that. So anyway, uh, I might be holding out for the princess uh, incinerator toilet in mine. Uh, I want my bathroom to be a little bit, well, I'm putting a 66 inch tub in, that's one, one of the things I'm most excited about. So I might hold out for the toilet too. It's absurdly expensive, but that's what I want. That's what I've decided. We'll see if I cave or not. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like I said, follow along with us, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video. And we'll see you next time.